family and friends. This is a tribute from your best man. Without further ado, let's get on with the show. Richard, be frightened. Helen, there's a lot you don't know. <laughs> Richard was born in 75. 30 years later, he's here with his bride. Looking so dashing and oh so mature, we couldn't believe it when he walked through the door. <laughs> Thinking back to the time when they first met, Richard said, here is someone you'll never forget. Hardworking and smart, not to mention pretty, she's by far the best from any city. But that left the detail, it had to be done. Would her father agree that he was the one? The problem perplexed him. What should he do? After all, it was New Year and also brand new. And what of her mum, her twin brother and sister? He had to make sure there would be no resister. The phone call was made. He had booked the flight. He took her away that very same night. And then in an instant, Richard's life did change. And to think it all happened in that single exchange. As I think back on Richard's Michigan life, we're all delighted with his choice of wife. <laughs> now, when Richard was a student, he was a DJ. Spinning and mixing was his forte. Eating junk food all day long, going slightly crazy, or wearing a thong. My <laughs> <laughs> names include Miyagi Roughcut and Lebidamon. Following him on his travels, they went very far. After uni, his adventures didn't stop. He began working in Paris, Nigeria, a lot. Trying out new places and getting into trouble, every drink he ordered was always a double. From cellar to absinthe and vodka snowball, it's a wonder Helen agreed to marry this shitty bubble. <laughs> Glued to his plasma TV in his bachelor pad, Richard, has always been a real true lad. On his PlayStation all night and all day, but now Helen's come along to change his way. No longer living on takeaways and micro meals, he's tried tofu and vegetable, that was the deal. He has dramatically changed from his meat and days, and now he loves Helen's kosher ways. From luckers and luxury and canadla to rich has become a truly Hamish adieu. <laughs> His love of sports cars is very well known. Over the years, his collection has grown. But there'll be no more driving on Shabbat from now on. Instead, he'll be in shul, making up a minyan. <laughs> <laughs> Richard has spent his life as an IT geek, but that's why Helen loves him and finds him unique. <laughs> Sitting at his desk, he always appears keen, but what is really lurking on that computer screen? <laughs> Like the fighting Spurs team, Richard keeps in good shape. Making Helen happy, she won't want to escape. His passion for football has been relegated to second place. Now his love for Helen is clear on his face. Oh. Spending many weekends at White Hart Lane, shouting and screaming and going insane. Watching them win and watching them lose, cheering them on with his fellow Jews. Every Saturday now, there's no more football. He's changed his interests. He's going to shul. <laughs> Doubling hard and learning the Torah. All this for Helen. He must really adore her. <laughs> and <Canadian> Ahora. <laughs> their friendship had blossomed, their love had grown. Richard took Helen to make her his own. It was a year ago now that they slapped across the pond with nerves and excitement hiding the diamond. <laughs> he got down on one knee and the question he popped. Helen was gobsmacked. To the floor she dropped. The answer was yes, it could be no other. Her husband, best friend and lifelong lover. They couldn't wait to tell family and friends their good news. They celebrated in style with power wine booze. <laughs> Now his statue abroad was full of antics, go karting and dressing up, it really was frantic. Sampling the delights and enjoying the cultures, although some say we're more like blood of vultures. Ninja outfits were worn by all of the crew. In true stag fashion, yes, Richard did spew. <laughs> then Richard highlights, the strippers came, and since that day, he's not been the same. 
the delights of Lisbon and the fair old city, Portugal, you were to us very pretty. But Richard behaved as any man should, because Helen, he loves you, and that's for good. Hmm. His love is like the sea, limitless and blue. Who'd ever thought he would marry a Jew? <laughs> his experiences are many. He's a driven guy. Now he has Helen. She's the apple of his eye. Richard, you're a match and a great friend to me. You've made the perfect choice in Helen, as everyone can see. May you always be happy and love each day through as you have set off on this adventure as new wet Jews. Richard, you are our best friend. But now this poem is coming to an end. Our final thought we must, our final thought we must now state and proclaim this day one of great fate. It's what a wonderful symphony this has turned out to be. It's great to be here, I'm sure that you'll all agree. Wishing them both a long and happy life, living together as man and wife. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen it's time we must run. So raise, raise your glasses, glasses for Mr. and Mrs. Bayerman. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you'd all like to stand and join the best men, the toasties, your guests of honour, the bride and the bridegroom, and Mr. and Mrs. Bayerman. Give them a nice round of applause if you will, please. Thank you.